Hello, this is Rebecca with Create with Rebecca, and today I'm back with a video to show you how I'm going to set up my personal planner this week. And um, in my personal planner, um, I'm going to show you a couple of quick little projects that I want to create. Um, what prompted this was I had one of these uh, little treat bags in my planner last um, last month and this is just one of those little treat bags that come um, that you can buy that you can put uh, candy in it was also in one of the kits in the October kit and so um, what I did was I just kind of punched holes and I used it as my dashboard throughout the month and it held stickers and note, little note sheets and it was really handy and I actually miss it so I thought well I can create a replica in um, using some cardstock so this is some orange cardstock that I have and I'm going to cut down the page to um, to measure this out. So I'm going to use this kind of as a template and first of all I guess let me mark it before I bring out the, the paper cutter. So I'm going to mark the height. I'm going to kind of cut off this little lip here because it um, it really was too too tall so it kind of squished the top and I know the cardstock will really be sticking out the top there so just to give you a measurement it's about let's see here it's a little shy of seven and a half so like seven and a quarter yeah about seven and a quarter so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off to measure that out And then we'll come in here and do the the width. Now, usually I would think we would do like double, you know, double the size here. Let's see if we can measure even measure this out. It's four and a half, so that would be nine. But I'm going to actually do a little bit wider than nine, so we have a little bit of lip to put underneath when we glue it. So how about we just do nine and a half and see if that's, we can always trim it down if we need to trim it down a little bit here. So, cut, get that cut and then let's fold it over and see. Now on this side, I you could possibly just fold it in half but I like it where it has it on the back side so you don't really see the seam and I think I can actually get it to um, get it to to uh, glue a little bit better like that and then looks like it's still gonna come out a little short I want to really have a good seam on there to really glue it down. But you know I could always add some additional let's see how much it gave me. Not a whole lot. But let's see what we can do. I really want to use um, these little uh, glue dots because these things are pretty secure. So I'm just going to put them on one end of each side. You know what I need to do first though is also secure the bottom. I didn't think about doing that also. Let's get out the, the glue, my Elmer's extreme favorite glue here and I'm just going to run this along the bottom here because this is some good glue and it will create a good seal on it. Uh oh, my glue dot got stuck. There we go. And then I'm going to use Elmer's on the seam as well too, between those two glue dots. Uh oh. I see the glue dots are sticking out, so we're going to have to come up with another plan here, but that's okay. Um, I have some extra little paper in here, and we can just come down and glue that along the seam and it'll just add a, like a little bit of decorated touch to it. Like that. I 
could also come in here and do it with washing. I almost cut with my, my good scissors. I don't know where I do with my paper cutting scissors. I don't cut um, but material ribbon with these other ones, so I didn't want to use it. Okay. So there you have it. There's your little pocket. I'm going to go ahead and um, if I can find my punch. I've, my, my workspace has just been a mess lately, so everything's been kind of messy. Um, I just had it earlier. Okay, well, we'll, we'll come back and punch it, but I'm going to mark it real quick so I know from decorating the, the front where the punch is going to be. I was, um, I had spent the whole weekend, uh, well, not the whole weekend, but most of all day Saturday and early morning Sunday, um, crafting in the living room with my daughter. And so I moved a lot of stuff in there. There we go. I don't know where my, I have my three hole punch have been missing for a while, but I'm going to use a single punch. That'll be fine. So I just had moved everything in there. So it's been kind of getting it back to normal. Uh oh, it's not very even. Okay. So there you have it. Let's try it out and see how it's going to fit in the, the planner here. I'm switching it to my orange or uh, caramel color Webster pages. There you go. Almost matches perfectly in there. We'll see. Let's, this is the brown I used earlier in the week. Let's see how it would fit. Hope I didn't make it too big. It's a little bigger than what I had intentions. I actually could probably add it to the back, but it's just so handy. I'll play around with it, kind of see. I might put it into the back of the planner. So, you know, um, was how was the length on it? That, yeah, it was a little bit bigger than, well, this was about the same. I guess because this was so thin, I didn't really notice um, how much taller it is. So what I might do is just add it to the back of the planner. And then you can also come in here and decorate it up. But if I'm adding it to the back, I may not want to do that. Let's see what kind of um, paper I have or stickers that would look cute that I could just quickly add to there. Let's see here. Count your blessings. We could use that. These, this paper, this... um is from flea market from doodle bug designs so i could just add i want to layer for some reason i'm feeling the urge to layer it up let's see what else i have over here i was playing around with this one earlier it kind of got messed up but we can we can use this to add a couple of out different elements to that pocket. Sorry, you can see I'm making a, I'm working on a small space here. I really don't see myself getting neatly and neat, neat and organized before um, until after the holidays, because I, I would, I'm going to be crafting a lot. Oh, boy, these stickers are. They're nice and thick. Okay, we'll just add that just to add a little bit of a little bit of color other than just that sticker. And then we can come in here and add a little this little swirlies. Uh, 
to maybe come here and punch out these little stickers um, in between these. Okay, I'm stuck on my fingers. Like that. Takes a little bit of work getting those off. There we go. We got them all stuck on my fingers. Okay. And then we'll just cut that excess one off like that. There, that looks cute. I wish I had some. Oh, yeah, I do have a heart. Because it has that little heart. Let's see. Hmm. Too much. Needs a little something now. Let's see what else is on here. Um. Maybe that's good. But you know, I feel like I still need to add more things there. I think the green would be a little less intrusive. It just seemed like that that um, that turquoisey one just seemed too big or something. So I'll just put three little ones there. And again, this is going to be at the back. But you know, I like to still add a little bit of something to it. Okay, so, um, as soon as I want to put like some washi here, let's see if I can find some blue. Let's see if I can look in here real quick. You gotta see my, we had it all nice and neat and organized a couple um, months ago, and then it just got crazy. Now every, all the washi is in this big bin again. I had this as a container, so I knew that was there. And lucky enough, we had blue in there. There we go. Now it's starting to look a little put together, for me at least. Okay, so... Um, there we have it. Let's see what we got for stickers. These are some that I carry in with me. And I like to have, these are Bill's do some autumn stickers, which we could even put those on there. Um, a lot of these, I'm going to take that out because that's a Halloween one. Cultivating. Here's a, it's kind of a, these are some that I, I received at the um, ATX Planner Meetup. And so, business cards, um, pumpkins. Halloween we can put away. More Halloween. More Halloween. Cute ones. And then these are the little notepads I use. I just love these. Um, they're, they're by months. So I'll put all those in there. Let's see if we all have those fit. If they can go to the side so I can be sure to be able to punch. The stickers will be able to be to one side so I can put so the punch isn't blocked is what I guess I'm saying. Put those in there. Okay. So let's get out our planner. We're gonna add it to the back. I am okay with these sticking out. I think they did also as well. If not, I can move them over here. But every this is my kind of like my to-do list. I take one of these out every morning and I just jot down it's kind of like I just brain put everything out there off the brain so I know what I need to do. Okay, where is this? This is the daily. And this is where I kind of keep um, all the notes, ongoing stuff that's going on. Kind of need to clean it out, I think. Um, let's see here. Sometimes it's just notes. Take all those out. And 
put that in there. Then you have your weekly, which is the week. I'll show you what my weekly spread looks like. Um, you know, I've been thinking about what am I going to do because I keep my, this is my first year to really use a ring binder planner. I've always used spiral and so I save them from year to year. And this is the weekly one. Um, I was so excited to be able to really use these stickers from um, my Happy Planner. Uh, they, I had bought a set of stickers and they had all these at the beginning and I'm like, oh, yay, I found them to plan with. So, the monthly. But what I was saying about my ring binder, I like to keep my calendars from year to year because I do reference them. So, I've been kind of debating, I've been thinking about what I'm going to do with this year's because it's in a ring binder and I'm going to be wanting to take them out. So I don't know if I'm going to put ribbon. I don't know if I'll just like designate a certain binder that's going to be, this is my, you know, um, 2016 planner, just like I do my spiral where I save all those. Oh, did you see I also use my Christmas countdown. Those are by, um, my green bicycle, I think. Um, and so I bought those. They're on Etsy. I will um, put that link below to her shop. And then, um, so I already added those to it. And then in the very back, I, these are just my kit notes. Because I reference those as well. So, let's put these back here. Close those up. And there you have it. All set. I like that. I really missed having a place for my stickers and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to move things over here. I've been using this, um, these cultivant, cultivating, that was my word this year for my one little word. And I've been using those to put, um, especially when it was the see through Webster. But I don't have that, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm just going to add these. I'm going to show you, I'm going to make up a couple of clips real quick. Um, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to put the brown one away, and we're going to go with this caramel color. It's so pretty. Um, okay, so, I was kind of playing around with these little, you know, I love ribbon. And, what did I do with that? Um, I made a cute little ribbon tassel. Here it is. I mean, it's just so basic. I mean, it's seriously, it's a few ribbon and it's a piece of lace, but I just find it so pretty. And so I just really like it. And you could, I mean, that's the whole thing. It's like you can add whatever type of colors you wanted to it. Let's see how it looks in there. See how cute that is? And it just goes perfectly with those dividers. So, you know, all I did was a paper clip. See if I can find me one here. And I just picked me out some ribbon. Are these like really sealed in there? Oh. These are ones I brought with me to a meetup because my daughter wanted to make paper clips. So actually I'm going to use two because I'm going to show you another little quick clip. Um, but I just took some lace. Um, I thought I might have pulled that out, but let's just go ahead. I'm going to get some of this orange because I did like three strands of. Oh, here we go. Here's the lace. That was fairly close. So I got that lace. Um, let's see here. We got orange. So we need like a. Um, like a red, another little orange. I like this one because it's a little bit thicker. Uh, let's see here. Do I have red over here? If not, I have a piece of brown and a piece of red. And then let's do this yellow because this yellow is really pretty too. We don't have to use all of them. 
Um, but I do use fairly thin because, um, you know, I didn't, I wanted it to kind of be a little bit one, but I just basically, let's see, what did I start? I think I started with the lace, right? Oh, you know what I did? I did two of these at the bottom and I just kind of like tied it like this. That's it. Voila. And then, shall we throw another one in there just for, we'll just do all of them. Let's just see how it works. It may be too much and we can just take them apart. But I just love how they just kind of spaz out and everything. They're just like, you know, I love those little junk bows. So these are just remind me of all that. Then I just do another one. And then I came in here with my lace. And I covered up that knot. Like that. And this kind of secured it because it just made it, it's got that funky grooves in it so it made it more. And then I came in here with that with the colorful one and I put it on top. I like these the shimmery see-through ribbon. Let's see if I can put it over on top. And then I just trimmed it out. Let's see if I can. Boy, it is a spaz, isn't it? You don't have you can trim it down as much as you need to. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to do a little bit shorter because I cut it way too short on that one side. There. There you have it. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. Okay, and then the next clip. Um actually I may be making this for my February kit. I don't know. But a simple way, and I think I might have showed you this before, I don't know, um, but I love doing these. I take a punch, um, and then in this case it was this heart punch. Let me clean my space off, see how I work, I'm just a messy crafter. Okay, so I took a punch, a heart punch, and I punched out two of these. These are actually pretty thick. Uh, glitter paper and then I punched out heavy card cardstock for the black. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is getting kind of scratchy. And I like to use the gold dots, but I also like to use this glue here, this clear scotch um, glue. And it dries quickly unlike some of the other glues I tested that really um, they just didn't I think it's just this Aileen clear tacky glue, it does not, I mean it's a good glue, but it does not glue quickly. And so it took me forever for some of the stuff I was trying to make. But I just come in here and add these dots at first, because these things are like some really powerful little adhesives. And then I'm going to add it to one of these black papers to the backing. I'll do this side, do this one, just like that. And that way, what I do like about making these clips is you can make them both look like the same on both sides. Okay, then I'm going to add that to that, like that. And then you've got two pretty sturdy pieces of of hearts there. So at this point I'm gonna add it to another one because we're gonna we're gonna glue it down. We're gonna it, it glue both of them together to each other. So I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna do this one. And this is where I Bring in my super glue. Let's 
and add the clip on there. What I like to do is kind of squish it around so it really gets around the whole entire clip. And then I come in here. Let me add a little bit more. Just for good measure. Just for the top part. And then I'm going to bring this other one on top. Line it up perfectly. Make sure that one's in place. And squish it together. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to set this aside to let that dry. And then I'm going to show you one more little thing I want to make. Um, I love making these tassels. I've made this one up. And um, it was these were in the kit, the um, autumnal kit that I did. And I fell in love with this Crafter Secret cotton um, yarn. It doesn't kind of fray. It has a different feel for it. It looks a lot neater and nicer. And so... I I just loved it. So I went back and bought some more orange. Don't know why, but I loved it. Did, and so, and I also was making up a, a bunch of tassels for um, the ATX Planner Addicts meetup. And so I um, I didn't end up using a lot of them. But um, what I do is I get a cardboard. And this is actually a little bit bigger than what I was using. Here we go. I think this was about the size. And I think I'm going to do that again. So I just cut a piece of cardboard. Let's see what it measures here. Four, a little less than four and a half. And I might have showed you this, but basically I go around, let's see here, was it 40 times? 11. 15, 20, 21. Thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-nine, forty. Clip it here, and then I get another longer piece, and I clip it, and then I kind of fold it in half. And then what I'm going to do is pull this thing off. Before I do that, I'm going to get one of these little split rings. I think I have some. I had a little bit taller ones. There's some in here. They're a little bit bigger. I don't really know the size. I got multiple multiple um um I got multiple different sizes, but there were some that's the largest one in that to package. And then I just pull this off making sure that I keep it kind of open because I don't want it to to fall down. You know what I mean? Like keep it where I have the top part on on my finger because I don't want it to get unraveled and then it be all messed up. So then I just come in here and I'm just going to take that double knotted string and then tie it. You know what? I do add that split ring on there. So I'm going to add the split ring while it's, see how it's inside that um, loop there? Add the split ring. Kind of make it where it goes on top. It's pretty forgiving. And then I'm just going to tie this in a knot here. Because even if you get it where the knot's on top, you're going to be able to flip that around. So I tie it once, I tie it again, and then it's very secure. And then I flip it over like that. See, it's just like, see how the, um, the knot's underneath? And then I just put the little ring on top. Just like that. It looks like, you know, it reminds me of those, those little, um, the it's, you know, on, I don't know. I never really watched it too much. I watched the Munsters, but it was on um, the Adams Family. So 
so then I'm going to take this, <clears throat> another piece of string, and again I double knot it, and I create a little, kind of like, leave it about a half an inch I guess from the top. like that and then I squeeze tight and then I do another one and I squeeze it tight and then you come in here and I come and I cut those strings off to make that that make that yarn tassel Let's see is that it okay now look see it looks distorted but I'm going to come in here and usually I do this over the trash can, but I want to show you how to how I do it. But I just kind of lay it flat like that and then I trim it just against my hand, my one finger. I can feel the blade on the other side and then I just kind of come in here and trim it up a little bit like that. And I should have all the little loop-de-loops cut clean that off and then to finish it off I've I, what I did was I kind of wanted to go with my planner because I have a lot of the turquoise in there I'm gonna show you in a minute my dividers too because I just every time I look at them I like them they make me smile so I'm gonna come in here and um, add this look how beautiful it is turquoise and orange but I kind of pick a pretty solid thick sparkle ribbon you can probably do anything but I really like the sparkle and then you get your hot glue gun you don't have to use all this like that Oops. and I kind of put a little little piece right there and then I lay lay that where I tied it I lay it right on top of there and then I'll come in and kind of turn it around and flip it over and then you don't need all that, so I'll just kind of come in here and trim that off. And add a little bit more glue. And then flip it over ever so carefully. A lot of times you can take the end of your um, scissors and tap it out because you see that little excess glue coming out. You can use your scissors or Usually by then it's a little cooler. And there you have it, your cute little tassel. And then I add um, a little chain, bulb chain to it. And put it in the front here. Just like that. To do, and it's so cute. It just kind of hangs there. Okay, now to show you, and then this should be done. So, are these cute little ones? I like to add that sparkle, sparkle heart. Look how pretty that is. Looks so cute next to the little fox. And I might add a little bow, kind of make another clip here. I might put the pumpkin back here. Now the pumpkin needs to stay up front. It's too large to go back there. Put him up front. Okay. I see my sparkle flower here. My, I'm excuse me, my sparkle heart. Okay, now the next thing, oh yeah, I'm going to add this because I always put, I always reference my weekly the most. 
so I like to add a I just add my little 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 quick tassel and then I wanted to show you real quick my dividers um, what I did was I I've made these for before but I took a punch a round scallop punch and these are all my little tabs and I took a little um, little leaf shaped punch and use those to to glue on top and write daily weekly monthly and notes now I need to add some cuteness to the front so look at this cute little fox is he not adorable or what plus he looks perfectly with the tassel so let's go in here and mark him this was mine last week this same same um, doodle bug designs and then I'm just gonna go in here and mark this I can punch and add him to the front and then my planner set up for the week Ow. pinch myself okay there you have it it's all ready to go all right, well, thanks for watching, and I'm sorry if my desk has been a mess. That's just how my life has been lately, and that's okay. That means I'm having fun. I'm getting creative, but I hope you're inspired to make some cute little quick DIY clips, and I will see you in my next video.